Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary by Synatic StarCraft. Today we're going to be going against Engulf Sega, the Masters player in this division with 54 wins and 52 losses at 710 points. So, here we go. The map is going to be Shattered Temple, and uh, it's a kind of silly game, but I thought I'd like I'd share it and you guys could see and find some use in it. So once this loads up, we will begin. Hopefully, uh, it loads fast. Yeah, this happened to me before where uh, you have to preload the game because the first time loading the game always takes forever. At least while you're recording, I think. But anyways, we do have me spawning in the uh, top middle-ish position. As a red zerg, split was kind of messed up there. Hate it when that happens. Horrible. Uh, we have a bit of lag coming in too. Just great. Anyways, uh, this is the blue zerg. We are gonna kiss our overlords over here, and they are gonna hit each other. So, um, <clears throat> either way, I'm in a 15 hatchery, and uh, I feel like it's better that he spawn here as opposed to here, because I can see exactly what he's up to if he's uh, 10 pooling or something. I can exactly see what he's doing because I'm gonna 15 hatch either way, unless he does a 10 pool or a 6 pool or anything early, of course. So uh, I do like the spawn position so far, seeing that overlord, I am quite happy and content. Going with a 9 overlord, while well, it looks like he is going to do the extractor trick, it doesn't really matter, it's the same econ, I mean, many argue, but GTFO bro. So we do have uh, some pretty standard openings right now, we are just going to drone up and uh, we are going to see exactly what we're doing with uh, our overlords. We can see exactly. I can see what he's doing. He can do what I see. What I'm. You can see what I'm doing. So he's gonna go. I can't even talk today. Jesus. He's gonna go speed first. So that means 1414 build. Well, of course I'm going to go the 15 hatchery build. My favorite build. I really enjoy going this build. Um, it works well for macro, and of course pressure and defense and everything. I mean, you can deal with 10 pulls with it too. It's, uh, it's kind of tricky, but I will get, show you guys how to do that if you guys want me to. I do have a replay of some guy 10 pulling me with this build, and I did survive. It wasn't too bad, but I did lose my hatchery. Of course, they're going to have to cancel. There's no way you can keep your 15 hatchery up if uh, they do 10 pull. So spawning pool coming up for me at 15, joining up to 17, then to get my gas, and 16 OL. Well, he is probably going to speed link span after this because I do see exactly what he's up to. Moving my overlord now and the pool is just about to finish so the queen doesn't snipe my overlord. And I'm going to scout if he's going to go for that speed link expansion or go straight into bane links. Getting my gas now. <laughs> it's almost up. Making two pairs of speed links for him, I believe. Once he does it. Only one pair so far. It's kind of weird, actually. So Roach Warren right after pool, just in case for Banelings. I throw up the Roach Warren anyways if they 15 hatchery, just for safe measures. But uh, there is no Overlord to spot it, so he doesn't know I'm going Roach Warren yet. I do spot the expansion here, so I do know uh, he's going to go Speedling expand. And uh, judging by the number of uh, Zerglings that rally up to my hatchery, I can make Zerglings accordingly. Seeing only one pair came up, I did sneak in a drone there. So Zergling is just fighting it out, and he is going to scout my Roach Warren. Or he should at least. Yes, he did see it. So he knows I am going Roach Warren, and it uh, looks like he did sneak in a lot of drones. Stuck in like three. Normally you want to make two pairs of Zerglings, but uh, he is just going to straight up drone and uh, not go for any early speedling pressure. Making three roaches, and then I'm going to start droning up myself, because you do want an econ before. Even if you're going to do a pressure roach ling build, it's always good to have some drones to back it up, because uh, you always want to fund enough, uh, fund all the larvae from your hatcheries. So I'm going to start droning up after these three roaches to wall off my ramp, and uh, did overmake a bit of zerglings, but that's okay. More zerglings, better, because you're obviously more safe. So it looks like he's just straight up droning and uh, making two spine crawlers immediately. And this is really important here, what I'm doing. 
is you send in an, uh, your overlord to see if he's making drones. From here I can spot that uh, the the larvae that turn into eggs uh, are turning into drones. Jeez, I can't even talk today. I'm not even joking. Uh, but I did spot that he is making drones with his larvae down here. So uh, that makes me feel really safe and uh, makes me feel like I can drone up completely and pressure him at the same time after uh, I do get a decent amount of gas and uh, he is going pretty defensive here making five spine crawlers that's a pretty big investment this early in the game uh, it's 31 to 27 drones so my econ's better I have a roach worn I have better uh, units so to speak uh, my speed's about to finish so I'm on par with him and of course ahead he does have a lot of spine crawlers though I'm not sure what made it triggered him into thinking that I was going into an all-in because there is only a couple lings and three roaches on the field and I'm just straight up droning from there so don't exactly what caused him to uh, think that but I am gonna do a roachling pressure in a bit here so I guess those spines will protect him from that and he does scout uh, that I have quite a few drones so he shouldn't be too cautious in making that many spines so let's see what he does next with his larvae making it looks like a macro hatch and double upgrade so he is going to prepare for an up or a macro game uh, making more drones seeing that I do have quite a bit of drones and my armies just stayed the same so after uh, spending all my gas on uh, roaches and just rallying zerglings uh, this is the zergling roach pressure that I'm going to do but he looks like he is well prepared for it I feel when I scouted I felt like uh, there's five spines I could have ran up the ramp here and I uh, did some major damage to his drones there, but he didn't move his spines up, so I can't really get up the ramp. The Zerglings could probably slip by, and here is actually a really funny thing that happens. I walk in here, I see these spines, and I go, oh crap. But what? this is what I actually see. I actually think that he has, like, 11 spines from this is my vision straight up. I didn't scout in further, so I didn't notice that these spines were actually fake, but, uh... He does think I'm going all in, and the half switch back to drones, getting gases and a layer as well. So, uh, I have seen that those spines are fake, but I don't think I noticed that in game. I, right now, I think that he spent, like, what, 12, he had, like, 12 spines or something. I didn't really realize in the minimap that those spines disappeared and were fake. Uh, so I do call him an all, mute all in bitch or something. Assuming he was gonna go mutas, but uh, I didn't scout the gases, so he doesn't have four gases. Four gases normally, you can pretty much say it's muta, but I didn't scout that yet. So I do think he's going mutas and throwing up two spore crawlers, uh, getting ready for the mutas, and he is just gonna drone up and go with the double upgrades on his roaches. Uh, so it does look pretty safe here. My overlord does spot that he's getting a third right now. This overlord is really important. I spot that he's breaking down the rocks, so he's probably going to get a third and head for a macro game. So I'm going to go for the gold and uh, try to keep up with that because I am behind by drones. Just by six, so not too bad. Starting my uh, plus one right now. And I realize I got to do something. You see, he's going to macro this hard using uh, the, the gold yield. Will, or <laughs> the gold yield. The high yield will help a bit, but... Uh, Gold yield, uh, uh, gold yields, <laughs> high yields, do mine up really fast. So uh, I'm gonna have to do something on top of that. And it looks like I decide to get Overlord drops, Overlord speed, and Roach speed as well. The plus one, plus one. So I'm gonna go for a mass kind of Roach Ling drop, making only Roaches right now. Getting that hatchery up, and I will drone that up as soon as the hatchery is near complete. So uh, right now I'm just massing up Roaches, getting ready for the massive drop. He is going to scout with an Overseer to see what exactly I'm up to, and once I can find the Overseer, should be somewhere near, oh, there it is, let's see what he scouted, nope, hasn't scouted much, but he is coming in now, getting his Roach Speed Burrow, plus two, and, uh, just a lot of drones, 71 drones for him, so he's 21 drones ahead on two base, which is, way oversaturated but his third is coming up so uh once his third kicks in he's gonna have a really strong economy and be able to pump out a lot of roaches spore crawler killing up killing the overseer right now uh to deny further scouting but he didn't really see too much he saw that i was going double upgrades so he might think that i'm going a macro game as well as both my satur or both my bases are pretty well saturated 
and uh, he does know I'm getting the high yield, so he might think right now I'm going to the macro game as well, making a hydralis stand for him, and uh, droning up his third base even more. So he's gonna have something like 75 drones, something pretty crazy. I'm just gonna scout in here, make sure he doesn't have uh, a bunch of units ready to catch this drop. So flying my overseer in, I do see that he has a spine wall of cross, a yeah, spine wall of course, and uh, a nice little roach slaying army down by the spines but uh, if I drop him in the main it should be good overload speed uh, and drops have finished so I'm gonna load up all my roaches making a lot of roaches right now gonna load up these roaches and drop them straight in all my upgrades have completed so uh, he is gonna be caught off guard by this moving two spines to the third watching the rocks there so you might think uh, I'm attacking through these the bottom side here but I am gonna drop straight into his base and uh, he will barely see this drop seeing a lot of overlords float but uh, I'm not sure if he noticed that he is just macroing and uh, throwing down lots of injects trying to get the high yield it looks like so his army is way out of position going for the high yield seeing the overlords now coming in here moving all his army back uh, to his base to defend while I'm just dropping a massive army right now plus one plus one roaches against his two one roaches about to be two two now but my army is just so big, killing a hatchery and a lot of drones. Zergling's getting a pretty good surround, and me with the superior Roach Force. Although his army was bigger, I was able to crush through this Roach army uh, without the support of the spines. And uh, he never goes mutas, so that was a pretty weird kind of game, but uh, I guess you guys can learn something from it. Uh, I could have got the third base here and it would have been a longer ZVZ, but I decided a drop would be viable here and uh, all his defenses were down here, so why not? So thanks for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.